Prince Archie, who will celebrate his fourth birthday on the day of the coronation, is the real loser, of his mother's decision not to attend the historic event, according to Majesty Magazine's editor-in-chief, Ingrid Seward. On Wednesday, the palace confirmed that Prince Harry will be attending the historic event alone, without his wife and two children in tow. M.S. Seward told The Mirror, how exciting it would have been to see soldiers, carriages and horses of his grandfather's armies. What a shame Archie was denied the opportunity however hard for his parents. The royal expert said that the couple would have had a big enough team to both attend the king's big day with their two children. She said, however pathetic when you have a team of helpers, Meghan can still use the excuse of Archie's fourth birthday to avoid crossing the Atlantic to be ridiculed, by both the royal family and the Brits. Despite not being working royals anymore, M.S. Seward claimed that being left out of the balcony line would have caused Meghan embarrassment and been a terrible insult, for the former actress, to not have a top seat at the ceremony. M.S. Seward then discussed the royal family's possible reactions to the news that the Duchess of Sussex won't be there. She claimed that she thinks that the Prince and Princess of Wales would be delighted she is not there, and the King and Queen Camilla will also be mighty relieved. M.S. Seward, however, claimed that she does believe Meghan wanted Harry to show up for his father's big day, adding that the decision won't have been easy. The royal author claimed that Harry lacks confidence without her but he needed to and wanted to come to the coronation. The announcement of Harry's show at the coronation comes over a week after the reported cut-off date to accept the invite. It was previously reported that the palace needed to know who, and who wasn't, attending by the end of play on April 3. The last time that Harry and Meghan were in the UK together was last September. The couple flew over, without their two children, for work commitments. However, the pair extended their stay following the death of Harry's beloved grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. Last month, Prince Harry travelled to London alone. He appeared at London's High Court to attend a hearing in his claim against Associated Newspapers Limited over allegations of unlawful information gathering.